you today. First of all, because I live so far in the neighbor. I'm bound, I'm bound to take an interest in what goes on in my neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Secondly, I've come because this election gives the voters of South Hemisphere a chance to play a part in the politics, not only of this small, famous island, but also of the world.
enterprise and special effort uh, and by the very heavy taxes on all amusements and on beer, spirits and tobacco. Great sums of money are contributed by the mass of the people. Therefore, we say it is our duty as the conservative opposition in the House of Commons to make sure there's no waste. We are in favor of, a, of, the, of, the, of the pound sterling. Now they are saying uh, that they have stopped unemployment. Well, there are three or four hundred thousand unemployed at the present time. But many of those are only changing, only changing jobs. And there has always been uh, that. But uh, they, they say they have stopped unemployment. Why? Because of the love that exists between the English-speaking peoples. They are giving that. And but for that, the, by the admission of the socialist ministers themselves, Mr. Morrison and Mr. Bevan themselves, there would be between one and two million unemployed. <laughs> and I understand that Mr. Arthur Greenwood, last night, when he was asked about that, said, oh, it might be five million. <laughs> well, I don't put it so high as that, because everyone has been working, and there is a great effort to keep our country strong. And we must see that effort does not, is not cast away. Believe me, the strength of Britain is one of the great factors in the peace of the world. Why, why should we want to go to war? What are we to gain by war? What are we to gain?